Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on bakery products. In today's session, we are discussing cakes. This is Chef Pranav Bhatt, Assistant Professor, Chitkara School of Hospitality, Chitkara University, Punjab. Baking is no more difficult than other kind of cooking, but it is different. There are special techniques like folding and whipping, and there are basic rules of chemistry to obey. It is important to follow a recipe exactly, to measure accurately, and to use well-regulated oven and well-prepared baking pans. Oven, once you accept this fact, you will find that it does not take long to acquire a feeling for baking procedures. You cannot help but gain an appreciation for wondrous process by which butter, sugar, eggs, flour, leavening agents, liquid, and spices are transformed into sweet, light, tempting array of confection called cakes. The word has brought audible sound of delight from the mouth of even the most conservative peoples cake is a form of sweet food made from flour sugar and other ingredients that is usually baked in their oldest form cakes were modification of bread but cakes now cover a wide range of preparation that can be simple or elaborate and that share features with other desserts such as pastries meringues custards and pies it can be served also as a snacks or a desserts and yes it is the most important product next to the bread in our bakery industry the history of cakes dates back to ancient time the first cake were very different from what we eat today they were more bread like and sweetened with honey nuts and dry fruits were often added According to the food historians the ancient egyptians were the first culture to show evidence of advanced baking skills the oxford english dictionary traces the english word cake back to the 13th century it is a derivation of kaka an old norse word medieval europeans bakers made fruit cakes and gingerbread these foods could last for many months according to the food historians the procedure of modern cakes round ones with icing were first baked in europe sometimes in the mid of 17th century this is due to primarily to advance in technology more reliable ovens manufacturing availability of food molds and ingredients availability like refined sugar at the time of cake hopes rounds molds for shaping cakes that were placed on flat baking tray were popular they could be made of metal wood or paper some were adjustable cake pans are sometimes used the first icings were usually a boiled composition of the finest available sugar egg white and sometimes flavorings the icings were poured on the cake the cake was then returned to the oven for a while then removed the icings and cooled quickly to form a hard glossy icing or covering Many cakes made at this time still contains dry fruits like raisins, currants, citrons. It was not until the middle of the 19th century that cakes as we know it today, made with extra refined white flour and baking powder instead of yeast, arrived on the scene. A brief history of baking powder, the Castle New Universe Cookery Book, London, 1894, contained a recipe. for layer cake american page number 1031 butter cream frosting using butter cream confectionery powder sugar and flavorings began replacing replacing traditional boiled icings in first few decades of 20th century in france antonio creme in 2 1784 to 1833 is considered the premier historic chef of the modern pastry cake world you will find reference to him in french culinary history books also along with this cakes are sometimes uh, divided into some uh, various names like gâteaux and tortes gâteaux is a french word for cake and gâteau is generally used for fancy but light or rich often with fresh decoration such as fresh fruits or whipped cream it generally denotes items made with 
delicate ingredients which are best consumed soon after the confection is made. Torts are like a German word for cake with similar properties. When torts are multi layered and fanciful decoration and even flavored with some liquid flavor, they are closer to gato except the fact they can last quite nicely for several days. Now let's discuss the various types of cakes. Cakes are generally divided into two categories. First one is shortened cakes and second is unshortened cakes. Now what is the difference between both of them? Shortened cakes are also called as butter cakes and it contains fat, solid, butter, margarine or vegetable shortening like liquid fat, oil and it is leavened with chemical agents. The texture of shortened is uh, tender, moist and velvety. Eggs are generally used or full eggs is generally used for making these shortening cakes. But if we take the example of unsweetened cakes, it is also called as foam cakes which contains no fat and the leavening agents are steam and air which is improved in the oven. The texture of these uh, unsweetened cakes are light and fluffy. Eggs only used egg white are used in these fluffy cakes and sometimes for little bit of moistening we used egg yolk also. In this slide we are going to discuss about the various ingredients which have been used for making cakes. All the ingredients can be classified according to the function which they perform in a cake making like structure builder which are flour, egg, milk like tenderizers, fat, sugar, baking powder and moisteners like milk and eggs. But somehow most of the people used to divide it into two categories that is essential ingredients which are flour, sugar, fat and eggs and optional ingredients which are salt, milk, water, leavening agents, flavoring agents, improvers and fruits. So we will discuss in a brief in our next slides. Our first ingredient is flour. Flour is the main ingredient of cake making. Flour builds structure of cake and holds other ingredients together. Protein content for cake making flour should be 7 to 9 percent. To brighten its color, cake flour are bleached to greater extent. The extra bleaching has modifying action on gluten forming proteins. Under low pH condition, starch gelatinized faster and thus affect a faster set of cakes. Structure is soft flour is suitable for cake production because it has the following characteristics. It has a low protein content, it has less VAP that is water absorption power, it has what poor mixing capacity and it has poor fermentation tolerance. If cake are made from too strong flour will peak in the center with tough and have a dry eating quality. Sometimes such peaks may develop at the bottom also. If too weak flour is used, the cake may flatten out or shrink in between. Medium flour is used for making small queen cakes, Madeira cakes and heavy fruit cakes. Weak flour will not able to carry liquid. It, could, it will cause a wet streak and may crumble while cutting. A combination of medium and soft flour gives a good results for rich cakes like we do in a Christmas or a special birthday cakes. Our next ingredient is sugar. Sugar or sacrose is the most common used sweetening agent in a cake making. They become soft in nature because sugar has tenderizing action on flour protein. It is horoscopic in nature and so it helps to retain moisture in cakes, eventually improving shelf life also. The crust color which is golden brown in a color due to caramelization of sugar. Whichever sugar is used in cake making, its granulation is very important. When fat and sugar is creamed together, small air cells are incorporated in the mix. Two large grain will have cutting action on fat which will prevent entrapping of air cells during creaming operation. Too fine grain will also not produce desirable aeration. Coarse powder sugar is most suitable. Liquid sugar like invert sugar, corn syrup, molasses, honey, sorbitol, 
are also used can be used in a part with a powder sugar for their special characteristics liquid sugar have better moisture retention capacity and improve the shelf life of cakes our next ingredient is shortening and also called as shortening fats butter you can also call this like that fat have a tenderizing action on flour protein and thus makes the cake soft it is the fat part of the batter which holds innumerable air cells incorporated during creaming method as a moisture retainer fat helps to keep the cake moist and thus improves the shelf life of cake fat used in cake making should be plastic in nature which could incorporate and hold minet air cells during creaming operations to hard fat will not cream up well while too soft fat will not be able to retain the aeration the next and main in ingredient is egg it provide structure to the cake although eggs by themselves do not act as a aerating agent air incorporated during mixing whipping operation perform this function provides moisture to cake lecithin present in the egg yolk at act as a emulsifier lutein also found in yolk impart color to the cake egg improves the taste and flavor and nutritional value of your cake and it is a main ingredient of your cake somehow milk is another ingredient which is used in cake making which gives little bit of softness and binding action to the flour milk proteins have a binding action on flour protein which creates toughness in cakes However, adequate quantity of fat, sugar and water present in the formula keeps the cakes tender and moisture and rich the cakes nutritionally. Lactose sugar present in the milk improves the crust color and moisture retains retention capacity of cake. It also improves the flavor and taste of your cake and improves the shelf life as it can uh, have a quality of moistening. water you will be uh, surprised that water is one of the mo uh, another ingredient which is used in cake making it serves most important function of controlling the fluidity of cake batter water vapor also leaven the cakes thereby acting as a tenderizer shelf life of cake is determined by amount of moisture retained in cake which eventually depends upon the amount of water which has been used little bit of salts that will increase your flavor in sweet products yes it enhances the flavor of finished cake it also improves the crust color of cake by lowering the caramelization temperature of sugar and also salt is an shelf life improver right and it is a type of preservative also flavoring agents flavoring agents are one of the important ingredient which are been used for cake making because it gives that flavor which is required for a particular cake many ingredients of cake making contribute to the flavors of the cake example eggs sugar milk and milk product butter and so on in certain cakes fruit juice are also used cocoa cocoa products are also included vanilla is extensively used in cakes and other bakery products a variety of flavor such as lemon orange or other combinations are also used for giving flavor to your cakes emulsifiers this is the one another ingredient which is being used for making cakes and it has a very important role it act as a hook between water phase and oil phase and prevent them from separating this activity keeps the water evenly distributed in the cake better with considerable reduced rate of evaporation and thus increase the shelf life it helps the fat to get distributed evenly in the batter thus the air cells are also evenly distributed which leaven the cake and give good volume leavening agents cakes are leavened by combination of three different sources mechanical aeration while creaming fat and sugar or fat and flour or beating egg with or without sugar second is chemical leavener they makes cake product porous and light 
they control volume texture size and crumb also controls the volume mouth feel and color of the crumb and crust of the cakes chemical leavening agents control the ph which is important in influencing the shelf life of a cake the third factor for leavening the cake is water vapor when the batter is heated during baking a part of water turns into vapor and get into a air cell which is expand and aerate the cake also called as oven spring these are the various ingredients which have been used for making cakes in our next session we will discuss all the methods for cake making and yes we will discuss the various process also thank you thank you very much for this session